durability is not something that, that you can add in at the end of a development process. You've got to be thinking from the very get-go, Yes, our industry is very fast paced. Yes, we want to be quick to market, but yes, we have to be disciplined in taking the time to make sure that we document and test and find the problem. Really good discipline in our engineering is, is how we can produce really durable products. Product testing is, is a massive part of what we do here. The classic impression of a design job is you spend all of your time in, in, in front of the computer creating models of awesome new things and then the prototypes turn up and they're all ready to go. That is a complete fallacy. With a control system, there's... Ah, control systems are arguably the most complicated part of kiteboarding. When I first started on control systems, my plan was parts reduction. How can we do a control system with just less than what we were using in the past? Because the less there is, the less there is to break. Second to that comes down to um, ease of servicing and ease of getting replacement parts. So. The total lifespan of any product can be measured on how long it lasts until something breaks, or probably more importantly, how long it can last for a particular uh, user. And if you can get away from the concept of high performance being light and disposable, then we're going to have less of an impact on the environment because we're using products we're happy to use over a long period of time. And then the flip side to that is actually that invariably more sustainable products, at least on the side of the business that I predominantly work in with boards and control systems, those more sustainable products are generally tougher and longer lasting than uh, some of them, their contemporaries. Uh, one of the classic ones is uh, I'm a real fan of, of natural fibre reinforcement when it comes to building twin tips. We have some things coming in the future that are, that are going to be very interesting in this space. I think I started reinforcing twin tips with, with natural fibres maybe 18 years ago. And pretty much from the get-go, every time I, uh, I added a natural fibre reinforcement into a board, the board would last longer. There is a, a toughness and strength that those natural fibres bring to a lamination that are just not available in your more contemporary, uh, say, fibreglass or carbon fibre materials. The, the nice thing about working for Airrush, however, though, that is completely ingrained into the entire business. Every decision is made with a thought of, can we make the most sustainable product possible while also being the highest performance possible? All product development is, is a process of learning and self-education. You start a new project or you've got a new problem or you've, you've got some, a problem that needs solving and you do not know how to solve that problem, what you need to do is teach yourself and learn ways to either solve that problem or not solve that problem. I consider every prototype I make in this lab to be a process of, of learning and self-education. So, Sometimes things don't work. Very often things don't work. Are there, is that a, a failure? Definitely not. It's just, it's just part of this, this ongoing process of trying to solve problems, of trying to create new things, of trying to create the best products we possibly can.